Hi, my name is Ryan Deleuze, and this is a tutorial on measuring heart rate using the GPA amp. If you're having a hard time getting a clean signal from yourself or others using the GPA amp, please watch this tutorial. This tutorial is mainly for getting a clean heart rate signal, but many of the tips can also be used for other measurements. Before we go any further, let's attach all of the sensors we'll be using in this tutorial to the GPA amp. Place the BVP finger or ear heart rate sensor into the round hole next to the USB cord. This is marked BVP. To measure ECG heart rate and skin conductance, place the red, green, black, and white cords into the marked slots on the other side of your GP8 amp. If you have a GP8 amp with six slots, place the black and white cords into the slots furthest from the red and green cords. Alive is picky and that it requires you to have a good heart rate signal to train. If your signal is not strong or contains too many movement artifacts, Alive won't let you start training. Or if you are already training, Alive will pause your training. So you will need to learn to place the sensors optimally for a strong signal. And whoever is training will need to learn to relax and keep still to prevent movement artifacts. Most other professional systems let you train even when the signal quality is low. If you prefer to have less strict training requirements, you can hide many error messages by opening the clinical control panel and setting ignore sensor errors to all. If possible, leave ignore sensor errors set to none so that you can see when you have a bad signal and take appropriate steps to correct it. Before we get started, please make sure that everything is set up correctly in the opening screen of Alive. If you are already on the main menu, you can click Change User to return to this screen. Make sure in the top drop-down, you have chosen the correct electrical frequency for your country. For the US, choose 60 Hz. For most other countries, choose 50 Hz. Set GP8 BVP to default. BVP which is blood volume pulse, is the raw finger heart rate signal. If you wish to train from the ear, set this to high sensitivity slash ear. The ear has a much weaker BVP signal, so if you're having problems training from the ear, switch to a finger BVP sensor and set this option to default. To start off, put the GP8 amp on your lap or far from sources of electronic interference. If you have a cell phone in your pocket, take it out and move it away from the GP8 amp. If your GP8 amp is close to a strong source of electrical interference, you may not be able to get a good signal. Also, don't wind the sensor cables in tight circles, especially for storage. This can break the sensor cables or increase interference. We'll start by doing a simple BVP finger heart rate measurement. Choose a user, and from the Alive main menu, make sure the heart rate source is set to BVP GP8. As a separate note, you can also choose here BVP iFeel Bluetooth. This is the iFeel Bluetooth sensor. It comes with a clip sensor, which can be used on the finger or ear, as well as two soft foam sensors. You can also purchase a rubber finger sensor that works with this device. The iFeel sensor is sold separately and works with the GP8 amp to give you an even more accurate BVP reading and with more comfortable sensors. The iFeel sensor was originally designed for use in hospitals and also measures SpO2 in addition to providing a secondary heart rate source for the GP8 amp. So getting back to the GP8 amp BVP sensors, make sure your heart rate source is set to BVP, GP8, there are three possible sensors which could have shipped with your GP8 amp. The green sensor was the original BVP sensor to ship with the GP8 amp. It was a bit tight, and so we developed the white finger sensor. It's very important that you don't put your finger all the way to the end of the finger sensors. Place the sensor so there is a small gap between the end of your sensor and the end of your finger. The pad of your finger should be right where these circles are on the white finger sensor. If the sensor is still tight, choose a smaller finger like your pinky 
or switch to one of the other BVP sensors. The clip sensor can also be put on one of your fingers. So if you have a hard time getting a good signal with the finger sensors, simply put the clip sensor onto one of your fingers. Make sure to keep your hands relaxed and still and resting in your lap or on the table when training heart rate. Click graph training and from the change graph dropdown, choose raw BVP ECG signal quality and press play. It takes up to 30 seconds for a live to ensure you have a strong, clean BVP signal before you can start training. If it takes more than 30 seconds, try adjusting your sensor and waiting again. So here I have a good enough signal to get accurate heart rate, although the signal is still a little bit jerky. Over the first few minutes, the GP8 amp will continue to calibrate to your signal although you should be getting accurate heart rate even during that time. Here, I placed my fingertip too far into the white sensor. This creates a jerky BVP signal. Often the signal also has flat tops. To fix this, I need to take the BVP sensor and move it slightly off of my finger. Squeeze the sides of the sensor and move it a little bit off of your finger. If you've moved it off of your finger enough, the BVP signal should return to normal. If you are still having some issues, try moving it a little further, giving even more space between the end of your fingertip and the end of the BVP sensor. To get a closer look at this BVP signal, I'm going to zoom in using the horizontal slider. Now we have a much nicer BVP signal, but still not perfect. I'm going to move the sensor even further off of my finger. Now we have a very good classical BVP signal. You want to have a BVP signal like this when training BVP heart rate. Younger people have much larger changes in their heart rate, so it's less important to have perfect accuracy. For middle age or older people with smaller changes in heart rate variability, increased accuracy is required in order to correctly measure heart rate variability or smoothness. If you adjust the BVP sensor, but nothing seems to help, you can also try unplugging and reconnecting your GP8 amp. Unplug the USB cable of your GP8 amp from your computer. You will see the GP8 amp not found error message. Once you see this message, you can reconnect your GP8 amp. It will take some additional time to calibrate after reconnection. If you would like to try getting heart rate from your ear, return to the main menu, then click Change User. Change GP8 BVP to High Sensitivity slash Ear. Put the GP8 BVP clip sensor on your ear. To use the ear clip sensor, attach the clip on the cord of the BVP sensor to your shirt so there is no downward pull on the ear clip. Somatic Vision changed the white BVP sensor to make it more loose and stretchy so that it can accommodate larger fingers in early 2017. If you're having a hard time getting one of your BVP sensors to work, you can switch from using the white or green finger sensors to using the clip sensor on your finger, or move the clip sensor to the ear. If this still doesn't work, contact info at somaticvision.com to get a new white BVP sensor, or discuss adding the iFeel sensor to your GP8 for a low cost. We will now move on to training heart rate using ECG with the GP8 amp. ECG takes a little longer to set up the first time and can be prone to movement artifacts but when set up correctly produces a more accurate heart rate reading due to the sharp large spikes in the ECG signal. During ECG setup, we are also going to attach the red electrode to show the common setup of measuring both heart rate and skin conductance. If you don't need to measure skin conductance, you don't need to attach the red electrode. To set up ECG, first put finger straps on the green and red electrodes. Once the finger straps are attached, you can leave them connected for easy use in the future. Now, 
put permanent disks on the white and black electrodes. To hold the white and black electrodes in place, wear two wristbands of any kind. Here are two examples of wristbands that ship with the GP8 amp. For this black Velcro band, remove the center Velcro piece to adjust its size. Put the white electrode on the left wrist, or on the left ankle. Put the black electrode on the right wrist, or on the right ankle. Now, put the green electrode on your index finger, and the red electrode on your ring finger. Make sure the electrodes are oriented so the electrode disc is on your fingertip and not on your fingernail. Although setup can take some time initially, eventually it can be quite fast, especially if everything is already attached. Put on the two wrist straps, two electrodes, and two finger straps. From the Alive main menu, change the heart rate source to ECG GP8 electrodes. Then click Graph Training and choose the raw BVP ECG signal quality graph and press play. Wait for 30 seconds for the GP8 amp to calibrate your ECG. If calibration finishes, but then training stops frequently, you're probably moving too much. Learn to keep your hands relaxed and still by resting them on the table or your lap. If you are playing a game that requires moving your hands, you can switch one or both electrodes to the ankles. If you don't get clean beats detected, Try some of the following changes that can help improve ECG signal quality. 1. Make sure the electrodes are placed directly on the skin and have firm, constant skin contact. There should not be hair between the electrodes and your skin. 2. If your fingers or hands are cold, get warm by warming the room, drinking some tea, or putting on a sweater. Three. You can move one or both electrodes to the ankles if you are using a wrist placement, or to the wrists if you are using ankle placement. 4. You may need to clean the area where the electrodes are touching. If so, it's good to use an alcohol wipe. Not a baby wipe, but a wipe with the primary ingredient of alcohol. Simply remove the electrode, clean the area, and reapply the electrode. If you do neurofeedback and have new prep or another abrasive gel, you can also abrade the area for greater electrical conductivity. Number five, you can use disposable electrodes. When using disposable electrodes, you can put electrodes on the wrists, ankles, or the chest. Simply remove the white and black electrodes from your wrists and move the wristbands. Place the disposable electrodes instead of the permanent electrodes, making sure to keep the permanent electrode somewhere safe. You now need to peel the protective film from on top of the disposable electrode and place it somewhere with the white on the left side of your body. And the black on your right. If you are still having a hard time getting a good signal using either ECG or BVP, please contact info at somaticvision.com for further help.